Okay, so switching gears, uh, here we're talking about um, observation of light and as usual, and uh, point you to the place. And um, yeah, and um, in this section, I think they do talk about luminosity. Um, they, yeah, luminosity <laughs> where they lead with and, uh, and they contrast uh, luminosity with apparent brightness. So when we talk about how bright the star appears, we are talking about apparent brightness. That has to do with how much apparent brightness, that has to do with how much light we are receiving. And how much light we are receiving from a star depends on two things really. Uh, how much light the star output in the first place and two, how close we are. If we are very close, then more of the stars light up will come to us as a portion, as in terms of the fraction of the output. And if we are farther away, then less of that light will come to us, reducing the brightness. But that doesn't mean that the star's luminosity is less necessarily low. So we do that in mind. Um, what affect primarily and directly determines uh, how bright a star appears is well, one luminosity. If the luminosity is less, then, then it wouldn't appear as bright. <laughs> and as I was emphasizing, distance is another um, important direct factor. And in the hint, I put this uh, in because some of these factors are um, correlated with how bright a star appears, like the surface temperature. If the surface temperature is high, that is correlated with the luminosity being high. So uh, a star with a high surface temperature, all else being equal, will probably appear brighter. But what I want to emphasize here is not it's that it's not the temperature itself that makes the star appear bright. There are other factors that also go into it. So it's not the direct factor. Uh, same deal with uh, mass more massive stars tend to be uh, brighter, uh, tend to have more luminosity. But again, it's the luminosity that's the more direct factor why that star appears bright. Mass is the indirect, uh, has indirect relationship with the, its brightness. And weather conditions, I just put in, in as a joke because we could, do, we have a space telescopes we have telescopes that are not affected by weather conditions. So, I mean, so, you know, if you are observing stars from your backyard, the sure weather conditions do directly affect, but I, I think, you know, give our astronomers, astronomers some credit for uh, uh, bypassing issues that can be bypassed. 